anybody searching for any Christmas tips, I've got one for you. So here's what you do. If you're taking family photos and you've got your new boyfriend with you, you put him at the end in case you need to cut him out of the picture later. today's video we're just gonna go ahead and dive into the first item I actually have a lot to share with you guys today so um, I did pick up some additional things for Christmas like these gift boxes because I suddenly realized I do not have this set and the reason why I'm doing this even though I don't have anything left to wrap is I've been shopping at Dollar Tree for so long I know how this works and I know that if I like a print I need to pick it up when I see it because it will not be available next year. I mean, this plaid Christmas tree, just yes. Why was that hiding in the middle? And then this one again was the front cover. So incredibly adorable. I love the um, older style car there. So I think that one was amazing for a dollar. And I decided to do it again and pick up more of the handmade Christmas cards. I wanted to make sure I had another one of these. I really like this cute little um, car with a ton of presents stacked on top. It just kind of reminds me of Whoville. I don't know, I just like imagine like Cindy Lou Who driving this when she's 16. So it's really, really adorable. And then the green envelope. And then I don't know that I bought this one. I feel like you guys are definitely going to know more than I do. But I was just like, why do I not recognize this one? So I decided to pick it up and they're making cute little snow angels. And yeah, I've been, if you're new to my channel, I've been hauling from Dollar Tree for such a long time. I know that when next Christmas rolls around, I'm going to be happy that I have these extra ones. So there's that. Is, is there more Christmas stuff? I don't really know because I didn't organize this, so let's just keep going here. I picked up some drop cloths. I think Dollar Tree's done this before, but for some reason I felt like this looked like a new batch. And I got this because I definitely need it because I am going to be painting. And I don't like painting, so I'm already dreading it. But I'm going to be painting my guest bedroom furniture. I don't like the, the color, obviously, that's why I'm going to paint it. And I also just didn't want to just buy new furniture, so I decided the answer is painting it. So this is going to be really handy because I'm not going to move that furniture out of the room to do it. You know, so anyways, so I'm going to store that away and all of this is going to be on my channel. I do a lot of decorating stuff, so if you want to catch that, it's all coming soon. I'm getting prepared already for after Christmas and redecorating parts of the living room and the library, et cetera, et cetera. All right, I found the birthday edition of the teddy bear cookies. I previously, I found the cookies and cream, I think, and then the honey, the, the original. And then I went to a different Dollar Tree and found the birthday. I let my niece have the honey ones and she loved them the other day. She was just carrying this around and like plucking little little bears out and eating them. So yeah, and it's my birthday in a couple of days. So I was like, I, I was like, I think Dollar Tree's telling me happy birthday in some weird way. So they're not, but I'm gonna pretend that they are. I picked up some gain. I have to do a restock of my cleaning supplies. So gain is something that I got a tip from you guys to put into my bagless vacuum cleaner to just not smell dog when I'm vacuuming. So thank you for those of you who gave me that tip. So there is that. I also picked up some painting supplies because it was time for a real refill of that as well. My niece loves painting. Like if she does not paint, she will go tattle to her parents that we didn't paint at my house and so here are the cute I don't think I've gotten these little paints for her before and I thought they might be fun for her to try she's also really into mixing the colors and seeing what colors that she gets and then I also got some paint brushes as well 
Um, listen, I'm just going to tell you guys straight up, like I think this works for a three-year-old. Um, they're not the greatest brushes on the planet, so if you're really wanting to get serious about painting, you know, I would refer you to obviously places like Michael's Hobby Lobby and an official craft store, but for a three-year-old, these are just fine in my opinion. I also picked up some more lip products because I love buying lip balms at Dollar Tree. So I picked up the Vaseline and Cocoa Butter. I needed another one of these. So I got that. And then I got the Blistex. I don't think I've seen this one at Dollar Tree before. Like this specific healing one. It relieves sore lips and restores, restores moisture balance quickly cools and comforts. So I wanted to give this a try. Also, I just want to say if you missed my winter favorites video, I'll link it down below, but I feel like I gave an amazing tip. I don't know. I just really like the way the two lip combinations are on my lips, but I did it again today and I take my favorite lipstick that I got from Walmart and then I take the Dollar Tree Vaseline I mean, this is not Dollar Tree, it's sold even at, this is sold even at Walmart, but I buy, obviously I bought this at Dollar Tree, and then I apply this on top of my lipstick, and I really love it. So if you guys try that combo, comment down below and let me know. I found some dominoes. I thought these were pretty cool. I want to do a gift where you kind of saran wrap a bunch of things. You guys know what I'm talking about. And I've been slowly buying little like toys like this from Dollar Tree. If you've been like watching all of my hauls, that's what they're for. So I thought I would also throw in the dominoes for that. And I found Deal or No Deal, which I'm very excited about. Now, I've picked up Deal or No Deal before at Dollar Tree a long time ago, maybe a year ago. But I don't know if it was in the form of deck of cards it might have been a different format but it also could have just been like this exact thing but i'm gonna throw this up in the media room closet so i really love trying to collect any sort of like game gaming devices cards board games to put in the media closet that's what my daughter and i are going to be doing for christmas eve we're going to be um playing games and watching movies, comment down below, let me know what you guys are going to be doing if you celebrate Christmas or just like what you're going to be doing in general. Um, I found some new stickers that I thought were really cute and I got these for my niece. If you guys did not watch one of my recent vlogmases, um, I recorded her like talking to me. She was peeling stickers and creating like a little present for everybody and it was the funniest conversation ever so now i get to buy stickers for her and i love it okay another product i found by sassy and chic is going to be this eyebrow scissors i've never tried eyebrow scissors like period so comment let me know what i need to know about this but i just want to show you guys up close what that looks like if there's anything that you put on your list from today's video that you might want to look for at Dollar Tree, I would highly recommend putting these. These are brand new makeup bags or purse kits. I don't really know why they call it a purse kit. There's nothing in there to signify a kit, but I love this little clear see-through one. I think this one's gonna be great for traveling. I also just kind of like how they did this packaging too. Then I found this pattern, which is a very, very pretty, and my favorite pattern of all. She is just super chic. I love this black one. This can also serve as just whatever small things that you have in your purse, whether it be like pens and that way they're not, um, you know, marking up the inside of your purse or you have cough drops, you know, or hard candies or tissues. Like this would be a great thing to throw into your purse so that those items aren't floating around. And that, my friends, is exactly what I'm gonna do with mine. I'm definitely gonna go with the black and then I'm gonna save this one for traveling and then this one I'm probably gonna do um, like a gift later on so love those and next up 
are going to be these body scrubbers or what do they call them back they're just a bath brush um, and I got them in every color that they had they're really really pretty and I did get this for I'm gonna put one in my media bathroom one for my daughter and one for me and then just like having a backup so this is something that I'm missing in my shower routine are these and yeah so I love the handle the matching handles and then you even have this too so that you can easily hang them and yeah so I was really excited to add those to my bath collection and then here are the refill items these are the sponges I get because you know Vanessa uses it so of course I use it and I'm gonna permanently just put her Instagram account in my description through all of my videos so just FYI um, so I picked up those I also picked up these scrub buddies in the different colors I like this like blue and green set and then we've got yellow and pink it's really cute just kind of like gives me spring vibes so love that so I'm gonna add those and then of course you guys know my sponges I have been buying these for years 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 and then also what I like to do is I like for them to last one a week and then I will throw them into the microwave to disinfect them when I just every time I use them but the green part just always ends up wearing out so that's why it's like one a week um, or once every two weeks because I like a package to last a month so sometimes it just depends on the wear of the green but so there's that and then I also got these which I really like you can fill the inside with soap and then it just like dispenses the soap into this part and yeah, these are just really good for cleaning i like these also to clean um baseboards and stuff it's just like easy to kind of like reach and have a good handle so got those and these are new i don't think i've purchased these before in this specific style but i have bought silicone scrubbers before from dollar tree but it's also really windy i don't know if you guys can hear that i feel like you can and these are the three colors that I found. This is a hot pink, but it's kind of looking red, isn't it? So what I love about silicone scrubbers is this is a really great product to get up dog hair. Just anything with this like silicone concept, it really does pull it up. So if you feel like, you know, there's certain areas that you just kind of want to get up dog hair from a couch or a chair, these are going to be good. I just wish there was like a handle concept to stuff like this because then you could like really get in there and and pull the hair back. But I'm going to add this to my cleaning supplies underneath my sink. And then another cleaning supply is this duster, microfiber duster. You guys, I love this product. I use it to obviously dust. It's great to get into the blinds because you're covering quite a bit of surface doing so. So I wanted to get another one of those. I've been buying that for years as well. And what do you know? More scrunchies, but the colors are so gorgeous. Look at that like emeraldy green. I mean, I don't even know that it's emerald. It's it kind of like maybe a really dark teal I don't know what color do you think that is I love this blush pink and then this beige pretty trendy absolutely obsessed with Dollar Tree's scrunchies I'm telling you and the very last thing I am so shook over I don't have words to be honest but I found multi-use scarves and in like every pattern you could just imagine so just to kind of show you um, I want you guys to be able to see the picture let's see where's a good one where you can really see so these are all the different ways that you can wear the scarves you could even use this as um, yeah you can see that they uh, label this like a face mask so there's that option there and then I'll just quickly show you guys all the patterns 
And honestly, I don't even think I, yeah, I think there were two other patterns that I did not pick up. The white. I love the solid colors. That is a pink. Love that. We get a good camo. And then a red. So, what? Ha this is crazy. You can wear it on your wristband, a hat liner, um, blindfold. A blindfold? We're not trying to kidnap nobody. A hair tie, a hairband, headband, a neckerchief, and then a face mask but all right all right that's it for today's haul i hope that you guys enjoyed all the new goodies i found i am i really want to play this deal or no deal i loved watching that show it's just it's literally just a game of pure luck like that that's all it is um but anyhow also very excited about this purse right here Anyways, that's it for today's haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm not going to be posting a video to, um, tomorrow, Thursday, or Friday for Christmas Day, but I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. I hope you have a wonderful week. Happy holidays to everybody, and I will see you Saturday. I'm going to share with you guys what I got for Christmas, and hopefully I'll see you there. Bye.